So, Wales left staring down the barrel of a sixth place finish in this year's Six Nations after France's bench come on and blow us away. Where do we go from here? Let's have a chat about it. My name's Christian and this is the Welsh Sports Podcast. So, I have to be honest, I'm feeling a little bit despondent after that game. After a weekend of ups- upsets and exciting games, obviously England upset in Ireland, but Italy upset in Scotland was the big one. I was thinking that Wales might but uh, carry on the trend, but even though France didn't play to their best, particularly in that first half, the second half their bench came on and just outmuscled us and just literally blew us away in that second half. And then once it started going wrong, we just capitulated. I know it's a it's a sign of where we are, but the players coming on the on off the bench, I just seem to be negatively impacting us and it has been generally through the tournament i don't know i just we're we're in we're in big trouble what worries me now is italy are obviously going to be buoyed by that good win against scotland they seem further ahead in their development than we are they've got more senior players the italian provinces are doing better than the welsh ones Um, we're just in a Gatlin seems like he's betted that we're going to win this game uh, with like people are saying the selection of Tompkins and North were to rest them for the the six day turnaround and stuff and now it just looks like I'm really worried going into that game I I think it's going to be a massive struggle and I think we're probably going to go into it underdogs for the first time in how long I don't even know um, I'm just I'm just really despondent it's just it's so frustrating that we're, we, we're still making silly little errors one that just immediately springs to mind the game was already sort of turning against us but that one when Rollins makes a good carry out wide Davis comes down to pick it up and he and he pops it up to him and it what like just present the ball like what are you what like that's a senior player as well I think I don't know if Dav Jenkins at six worked he was he got through a lot of work uh, but I don't know if that's going to be his position going forward I feel like we lost a lot of uh, mobility from that position and it's annoying because Obviously, France brought that physicality and that's what Jenkins was probably put at six to do to add that bit of physicality, but it just didn't seem to make any difference. Um, I thought Adam B had had a good game last week uh, in the previous game, but this game, he was back to his normal self. He did have a good uh, Moles defence, but it's just there's no physicality in him. And I think just just drop him and put... Rollins and Jenkins in the second row, and let's have a proper back row. This experimenting with six, uh, with second rows playing six to me just doesn't work. I don't know. Also, I think the timing of the substitutions were interesting or bad, if, if I'm being totally honest. You had the we finally got some phases going in the back line, and Roberts was getting some space out wide and actually putting in some people into space doing what he was brought in to do and I think Costello had a shaky start but as the game went on he started growing into it a bit and then and also Thomas Williams was being quite influential on the game especially for us in attack and then you brought the three of them on the halfback uh, swapped and then Grady comes on as well. And it just caused... Abs- From that point in, it all fell apart. Everything fell apart. No one can convince me that Johan Lloyd is a international outside half. He's got no decision-making. He, His kicking game is just not good enough. I thought Costello kicked quite poorly as well, but... Johan Lloyd was even worse when he came on and he tries to do everything on his own and you just can't do that in international rugby I know the game 
it was was the momentum had gone against us by the point that he'd come on. But I think you had those players who were starting to actually work together now, who'd been playing for an hour, and then you just bring them on, bring the subs on early, and it completely just messed up everything. Um, yeah, I I just don't know. We're we're in a bad way, and it'll, I think it's going to be a big ask for us to to beat Italy. It's really hard for me not to be just completely negative because. It, I've been generally positive on this channel and through the Six Nations. You know what? What I'm felt feel reminded of is that time when Steve Hansen was in charge and he was saying, "Don't worry about the results. You just got to judge judge the performances." I I feel like we're in that area now, but I feel like it's getting to the point where we're starting to worry about getting no results and the performances haven't particularly got that much better um, which is a worry um, I don't want to be entirely negative uh, I think the line out was actually excellent um, congratulations on Evan Lloyd coming on and winning his first cap um, but D's line out was superb again and the variation in different uh, jumpers and stuff was good um, the scrum improved after it went bad. Uh, a, lot, a lot they were saying on BBC was due to Luke Pierce letting the scrum actually just go, um, which is fair. I think the fact that Roberts and Watkins, Roberts especially, grew into the game um, attack wise was positive. And Rio Dyer was positive in attack, though in defence, Penno just gave him the absolute runaround. So there was some positives, um, but it wasn't. There wasn't many. And that is the first time I've come out of a game uh, this, this Six Nations, not just disappointed because we lost, but I was happy with the performance. But I think the performance wasn't good enough today. I think France were definitely there for the taking. And we got bullied, basically. That's what I think. And uh, the physicality hasn't... I, I know a lot of it comes down to size, but the physicality hasn't been there throughout the tournament. And it was very, very evident today. I think players like Wayne Wright run himself into the ground like he has been all tournament and really give 100%. And he did carry well. But he's just, he's just one man. And it, there was no one else given that go forward ball maybe Roland's had one or two big carries but once once like the phases don't uh, the first uh, phase or two of attack don't don't work we just we don't look like we're going to beat anyone and then neither of the 10s kicking game is good enough to get us back in control and wrestle the momentum back i don't really know what the answer is going to be going into next week now uh, what positive changes you can make to change the game. Um, maybe Dylan Lewis starting over Azarati, who's sort of not been as good as he was at the start of the uh, Six Nations. And in fairness, Dylan Lewis has made a big impact since coming into the squad. I've been impressed with him. Um, do they stick with this Dav Jenkins at six? I would imagine they will. Um and then what do they do at, at 10? Because, like I said, I felt like Costello was growing into the game, though he didn't have a great game. But to bring him off as early as he did, it made me feel like they wanted to have a look at Lloyd at 10. And did he show you anything? To I'd like to know what uh, you guys think, because a lot of people keep saying in the comments that they're not interested in Costello and they want Lloyd. If someone please explain to me what he did when he came on that was that you looked at and seen that there was any positives for him. Um, I feel bad for Josh Adams. Uh, he hasn't been at his best, but have you seen him really touch the ball at all? He's had no, no ball whatsoever on that right wing. Um, and I think Cameron Winnett, this was his worst game, which you're going to expect. Uh, it wasn't bad. But he had some errors, and um, you got to expect that as a young young boy. 
I think this is this was the game where the so, so much youth has co- finally caught up with us. They they've been very very positive, and there's been a lot of positives throughout the Six Nations with the young boys, and I've sung their praises to the hilt. But I think this was the game where it sort of come to head. There was yeah, they just they couldn't match him physically, and it was a, quite of like a few inexperienced uh, moves. So I don't know. Um, yeah. We'll see what Gatlin does. I'd be interested to see what his answer is, whether he responds, whether he brings Tompkins or a North and or North back in, which I suspect he will. Maybe we could see North run out at 12 and Roberts at 13. I'm not too sure about that. I don't think North can play that position. But yeah, there needs maybe something to be done. But Or do you just say, let's just keep the continuity and ride this team through and just get as much experience for these boys as they can I don't know maybe Mackenzie Martin at 8 and Wayne Wright goes to 6 I'm not, I'm not sure but um, yeah I'm very disappointed you can probably tell by uh, this video it's quite a negative one which I don't like to do but um, I'd really like to know what you guys think and please subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one